So the last question is, and this is how we end every interview, tell us what your desires are for Person County's future. Mm. My desire for Person County is that this county can somehow unify, that we can put down our petty differences and come together for the betterment of the community, that we can agree to disagree. Um, I know I'm supposed to be at the end of this thing, but I didn't speak much about my mother. She was a, um, a, a, a heavy influence in my life. She instilled in me the, the thought to, to understand people to to try to understand why people do what they do why people say what they say that there may be something going on in a, in a person's life that um you you really don't know anything about but if you get to know that person know where they're from, know who they are, then you can better understand some of the things they do. Good things, bad things, um, things that I might consider unusual or crazy. But once, if you just take a minute and get to know somebody, know their history, then you can better understand why they do the things they do, why they say the things they say. And it just helps everyone um, get along better. So for, as far as Person County goes, I'm, it's, it's my prayer that we can all just get to know one another and understand each other and, and, and why Things might go on on the south end of the county and, and, and some of us don't understand, well, why do people do that? Or why do they, or why are they saying that? You know, and then there might be something going on on the south side of Roxborough. Well, why is that going on? Why, why, if you just take a minute to get to know people and then you can understand maybe better understand why they do what they do, why they say what they say. And once you get to that point, it may be a little easier to sit down to the big table and have a conversation. And once again, agree to disagree. <laughs>